everybody and welcome back to the Blossom Crochet channel. My name is Rebecca and if this is your first time visiting then just take a moment now to subscribe to the channel and click that little bell icon so that you can keep up to date with all of my crochet tutorials. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful wattle stitch. It's a really simple one row repeat and it is great for a variety of things. It's great for washcloths and pot holders and also scarves and blankets and things as well. So you can see it works up really beautifully in variegated yarn but it looks just as beautiful in a plain single colour yarn as well. But this is just my sample piece and I'm really hoping that you can see the beautiful stitches that you get when working this up. So like I say, it's a one row repeat, so it's super simple and we're just going to jump straight in. So for the tutorial, I'm going to be using this James C. Brett Driftwood DK and I'm going to be using the recommended four millimeter hook for this one. Okay, so you want to do your foundation chain in a multiple of three. So once you've got your slip knot on your hook, you're just going to chain whatever width you need your project to be. Just make sure it is a multiple of three. So to chain, obviously you yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So if you want to continue and create your foundation chain in a multiple of three. Okay, so once you have completed your foundation chain, you want to start your first row by doing a UK double into the third chain from the hook. So you've got one two and this is your third. So in the US this is your single crochet. So you're going to insert into that chain, yarn over and pull up and you'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through both of those loops. You want to chain one and then back into that same chain that you've just worked into you're going to do a treble crochet. So remember these are UK terms, in the US this is your double. So yarn over, back into that same chain, yarn over and pull up and you'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that is the sequence that you're going to do into your spaces. So you then want to skip two stitches along on your foundation chain and into your third stitch along you're going to do that again, you're going to do a UK double so insert your hook, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through both, chain one and then in that same space you'll do a UK treble. So yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Again, skip two stitches, so skip one and two and into your third you'll do your double, chain one, treble. So yarn over back in that same stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So you're going to repeat that all the way along. So skip two and then repeat those stitches and I will meet you as you get towards the end of your foundation chain. Okay, so once you get towards the end, you should have three chains left. So you're going to skip two as normal and into that very last chain, you're going to do a half treble or in the US is your half double. So yarn over, insert into that last chain, yarn over and pull up. You'll have three loops and you want to yarn over and pull through all of those loops. So that is how you should be looking at the end of this row. So now you want to chain one and we're going to turn and we're going to work straight into that chain one space from the row below. So you're going to skip this stitch, you're going to skip that treble from the row below and you're going to go straight into the chain one space and you're going to do your double, chain one, and treble into that chain one space. At this point you might want to mark with a stitch marker 
So you're not going to mark the stitch that you've just done or the double, you're going to mark the chain one that you did at the beginning. So mark that chain one just until you get familiar with where your rows will start and end. And then again, look for your next chain one space. So you'll be skipping the double and the treble from the last row and working into that chain one space. And again, you will repeat that sequence of a double, chain one and treble in that space. Again, skip the double and the treble and look for your next chain one space and do your double, chain one and treble. So again, you're going to work that all the way along until you get to the other side of your row and that is where I will meet you to finish off in just a second. Okay, so I've got one final chain one space here to work into, which I will do as normal. And then to finish off the row, you are going to skip the first double from the last row and into the stitch just next to the double. So this final stitch just here, so you've got the top got the top of your double crochet here so you want to go into the next one along and you're going to finish with your half treble so yarn over skip that double and work your half treble into the next stitch along so yarn over pull through all three and then again that is the end of row two so this next row now is your repeat row. So again, chain one and turn and look for your first chain one space. So you're going to skip the top of the half treble you just did and the treble. And in that first chain one space, you will do your double chain one and treble in that same chain one space. And again, if you want to mark that Mark your first chain one stitch that you did just so you know where to finish off on your next row. And you'll see when we get to the end, the end of this row, it just makes it that little bit easier to see where the stitches need to go. And then again, you'll work that all the way along into your chain one space. You will put one double crochet, a chain one and a treble crochet. So if you work that along and we will finish off one more time at the other end of this row. Again in your final chain one space you will do your double chain one and treble and then you can see we marked that chain one so it's nice and easy for us to see where we need to put our final half treble. So your yarn over go into that stitch where you've just taken out your marker and do your half treble. But that is it for the pattern repeat and I'll meet you again in just a tick. So this is how it's looking now that I've worked up a few more rows in this yarn. So with it being that one row repeat it is really simple to get going and that is it for the end of this tutorial. I will see you for another one very very soon but thanks as always for watching and remember to click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed to the channel already. But I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.